Hey, so it's a really beautiful day. It's a little bit windy. Uh, I have all these plants I need to plant that I've been putting off from planting. And um, anyway, so I guess I'm gonna do it today. Okay, so the first thing I've been putting off is these boxwoods. And they keep falling over in the wind, but I planted one right there and behind uh, that little shrubby thing right there. And I have another one right here. So these two I need to plant. And now is the day. So I guess I'm going to move. I don't know if it's a good idea for it to be here, but it's going right here. These are hostas, that's Solomon seal that self seeds. I think that's a weed even though I planted a a still be it never did anything so kind of sad about that and I think that's a weed not a still be. I honestly don't know how those survived every time it rained. They would just fall over, so I don't, don't think they got watered well. I think that looks quite cute. Imagine this being like a little ball. And then having the ball here and here and here and there and way over there. Slaughtering it in. Whoa, look at all the roly polies. And since I have all this extra mulch, why not give it some mulch? Okay, so this side I have to be careful because there's a rock. The rock was over here, I think, earlier in the year. But because we have a boat and cars and things, it gets moved over. So I'm thinking it, it needs to stay there. And the lamp also was facing this way, but it kept hitting the cars. As you can see, we haven't yet plugged it in. Trying to figure out where to put it. Also, this is all poison ivy. This isn't. Even though some of the leaves are three, it's a, uh, what do you call it? The name evades me, but this is all poison ivy and that's not. And then I have the hostas. And I got my friend Sherry that, that 
that, that, and that. They don't look that great right now because it's the end of the season. And then this right here is a columbine that was part of the video that I did for deadheading columbine. It's like a really dark color, really beautiful. But I really want this boxwood, like the ball, to be kind of enveloping on either side of the driveway. I like the way that looks. But maybe I should just put it right here. Although that's a big hydrangea that I got from my friend Jill. So, I have a hosta here. Maybe I should put it right here. Here. There. We have been thinking about removing these two trees too. In which case, maybe I should put it right, ouch, right here. But then this is where the water flows when it rains. Maybe moving this lamp will help me. Mm, that looks dumb. Maybe it wouldn't look dumb with this tree removed. It's a mulberry. I think I need to take out this hosta. Let's see if I can. not poison ivy roots. The reason I put that rock there is because I didn't want people running over the hosta. So now I can move this rock. for now. The thing is this right here, we call it Valens Valley. We dig it every time it rains so that the water will go over here instead of down our driveway. Um, so it will go like that. We'll see. I can always move it. I'm not saying I touched poison ivy, but I am saying kind of itches right here. I feel like that one needs to be put here. Or maybe this can be put here. Maybe here will be more even.
Maybe it'll grow bigger next year. I think that's better. Now, do I plant this? My mom got me this dwarf Hinoki Cypress. Nana, that's what we call her. Or the kids call her. We'll be next to that one. And that one. I'm gonna wait. Okay, so to kind of give you perspective, here's the new fence. And in this corner is where we took down a, an invasive tree. We still have it finished. But we did plant, well, Valen planted a magnolia right there. I think it's a Jane. Yep, so it's going to fill in this space. And I got a vanilla strawberry hydrangea for 10 bucks. So I'm thinking I'm just going to throw it right there. And then we have this potentia. I want to call it potentia. Uh, it's the one with the pink flowers, which I think is super cute. And I'm just going to also throw it in here for now. And then we'll worry about the looks later. But it gets to be like a three foot ball. And that gets bigger, so it'll peek behind it. And that will kind of overhang over it too at some point. And then I still have these stumps that I need to get rid of right there. And then these two that are actually still really... A tree. But I'm working on it. And then there's this, which I'm not really sure what it was. It needs to come out. And then right here is the black lace elderberry, which has been in the shade and not allowed to thrive because of that. And then the moon rock lava lamp moon rock hydrangeas can't thrive either because I think because they're not getting enough sun. I don't know. Here's the other one of these. And then there's that one. And this vine grows everywhere. It's not great, but it still spreads. It's that. Looks cool, but I don't think it's good for all the plants. to take it up a little more. Definitely roots under there. Okay, that's a big root. Might have to move it over a little. I think that'll do. That'll help it root.
the way for the leaves to cut down the rest of the trees, but these are really planted. Trying to picture what these will look like when they're fully grown and spaced them accordingly. has gone through a bunch of stress. Should have planted it a long time ago. Okay, it's not perfect, but I can see it coming together. I want to put a bunch of stones here because the water flows down this hill and into their driveway. So if I can just do something, maybe extend this and make it look nice, but still leave space for Jared to drive by on the lawnmower, that's kind of the plan. This little branch broke off the hydrangea, so I'm just going to stick it in the ground. It will probably not grow, but it'll be a fun little experiment. And if it does, I mean, yay. Okay, I'm going to go for it. I think it's three by three, so I think it'll fit perfectly right here. I'll get the other shovel. I love plants that form round clumps. I think that's cute.
Oh, I have this raw crust that I bought like at the beginning of spring and it's just been sitting there. It pretty much died um, and it's back. So I'm thinking that it needs to be planted here because obviously it can take the heat. The rose campion, I just cut off the dead stems and left that. And we have a Carl Forrester grass right here and then a hydrangea. And I planted a daisy here or two or three, but they didn't make it. So I think this, thinking this peaking here and kind of trailing out to the edge will be cool. This is the mailbox area, so people drive right here. So it has to be something that I'm okay with getting run over. And then I have this other one. I could put it here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. So if I can do this with this small shovel. You know, it needs full sun. I'm not on it because I'm sure if I should use the biotone. I think that's deep enough. The roots don't seem to be very good. It'll be a miracle if it survives. job planting ever. Doesn't look too bad. It'll look nice when it's peeking through. 
and pink. Well, that's all I'm doing today. I would keep going, but it's starting to get dark. But I did get a lot done, and always something. I did get a lot done, so I'm really happy about that. Um, and the weather is getting cooler, so it's going to be easier and easier to work in the yard. So probably be out here tomorrow. What I did today is I did that boxwood there, and the boxwood that was there, right there, kind of moved the rock around in the lamp. I took out the hosta that was here, and I didn't show you where I planted it, but I just kind of used my hand and dug a hole, plopped them in there, put them here, and then I, not in this order, but I moved this sedge or grass, I don't remember what it is, from over here, it was a row, Was this third one wasn't doing well, so I moved it here and created an arch, and then I planted that hinoki right there, and then, down on this end, I planted the $10 vanilla strawberry hydrangea right there, and then the potentia right there, mulched those things. And then the last thing I did was plant the rock cress that I had bought at the beginning of the season here and here. So I think it'll look nice. Here's one of the boxwoods. And all that light color is new growth. So I'd say about an inch and a half or so. It's really soft. Here's the first boxwood that I planted uh, next to the driveway. And I don't see, I guess this is new growth, but it's not as obvious as the other one. But I think it's still happy. Here's the potentia. Last year's flower buds. But it came back. And there's the little grass that I transplanted from like right there to here. Those are all new leaves coming up. This one didn't make it too well. It's still alive and maybe I can save it, but it's just falling apart. Which is weird because it's stayed happy for a long time in a pot that I never watered and then once I planted it <laughs> we'll still give it some time so there's the rock crest it's in full bloom it's the cutest really delicate little bright pink flowers with yellow throats And just a few days later, and this one that was a little more sparse than the other one is starting to fill in.